Gentlemen, let's talk Godzilla. Here we are, the first of our new review format. Obviously we want to call it live, but we do have uh, bullet points. We'll, we'll get to that later. So we're going to be talking Godzilla. We've got a monstrous <laughs> um, subject for our premiere of our new format, Godzilla. Everyone's talking about it, crushing box office. So uh, let's talk about it. So our first major point is the plot. Now, of course, people don't go to monster movies for the plot. I still think it's worth talking about, though. So what are our thoughts on the plot of the film? Too serious for its own good. Too serious. Especially when dealing with the subject material. Way too dumbed down, way too just invested in its own uninteresting world to really, like, give the monsters enough time to have their fun. Hmm. Yeah, for me, it just it felt so slow. It plodded along. Yeah, like, it felt like we've seen it all before. It's a military-focused disaster-slash-monster movie, and it will hit every step you expect that kind of movie to do. Yeah, I got a second Sean's opinion there. The second third of this movie is a snooze fest. So, plot's boring and all that, but no one really cares. Everyone's talking about the monsters. Well, we'll wait to get to them, but we do. what we do want to talk about is we all thought that the split between humans and monsters, like the time dedicated to both, wasn't quite what we expected, was it? Mm-mm-mm. No, no it, was not. It, was, it was unbalanced as hell, and there was no justification behind it. Yeah, like... I respected their approach a lot, definitely. Like, I got those, like, it's a monster movie, but we want to focus on the human element. But, yeah, the balance was way off. In fact, I'm surprised a lot it's popular, because I would expect the general audience to be upset that they did not see many monsters in the Godzilla movie, especially Godzilla. He's just not on screen much. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, personally, I don't feel too strongly about this point, uh, because I thought the monsters were actually built up very well, but we'll get to that later. Bland, boring... These are some words to describe the characters. That's our next main point, the characters. Yeah. We kind of spoil at least what I think. So bland. Oh, Blandy oh, McBlander. Oh, flatline, emotion-wise. Oh, Thank God Godzilla came in and, like, cheered everybody up, ironically. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Um, but let's... I mean, the protagonist is nothing. Yeah, the product... Protagonist is nothing. There is one godsend in this movie, and in my opinion, that would be Brian Cranston. Uh... I think it was a bit too much. Yeah, honestly. Too, I think too, like, like, it was a fine performance. It was a fine character, yeah. I guess. He didn't. He too, was, he, it was too big of a performance, overacting a little. Over, like totally overacting, totally losing it. And I realize his character has that context, but it still didn't gel with the rest. It's like he's the only guy who read the script, realized it was a kaiju movie, and wanted to have some fun. I feel just Brian Cranston gives so much passion into his performance, which is much more than I can say for Mr. Kick Asserson over here, who's trying to lead this movie with no personality to speak of. Even though he had so much personality in Kick Ass, he just, Aaron Taylor Johnson just does not have it. What happened? No one cares about the people. No one cares about the plot. No one cares about anything we've been talking about. If we're being perfectly honest, people care about the monsters. Oh, the monsters. Oh, yeah. And holy crap. Awesome monsters. This is the part where we all just geek out about how awesome these monsters are. Right, guys? Right? Let's yeah. be real here. Uh, yes, yeah, the monsters pretty much. are the... It's, it's clear that the filmmakers may not know how to present a good scenario for Godzilla, but they know how to get Godzilla going, especially a 21st century Godzilla. The best of what Godzilla has to offer is all right here. Yeah, I love the designs, especially, like, Godzilla has the best he's ever looked, in my opinion, and the, his enemy monsters, like, I think their design, they felt very ancient and, like, mm-hmm. alien almost. It was very well done. And I liked how they weren't just trying to kill all the humans, they were actually just trying to live and repopulate their species. I liked that. The design of Godzilla has been perfectly translated uh, to 2014, especially given this more down-to-earth, not-guy-in-a-suit uh, era of film. Uh, so it's nice to see that. Yeah. Also... When they are fighting, you know, putting up the fists, you know? Uh, put them up. up. Say, put them up. Um, See, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, it's just, it's... Godzilla should do that. That should be the sequel. That should be the sequel. Fight, and man. with boxing gloves. Come on. Oh, me. things I could show you about Godzilla movies where he's done stupid stuff. Oh, man, there's a ton. The third act, which where that's where the fighting mainly takes place. The third act easily makes this movie's ticket worth the price of admission. And see it on the biggest screen possible. Yep. We can all agree. Mm-hmm. Just go Good big. Tip. Go big yeah. or go home. It's it's a monster movie. It's worth seeing on the freaking biggest screen. Absolutely. 
So that was our last major point. Now we're gonna move on to additional comments, little things that we briefly, very briefly, uh, bring up that didn't fit in the other categories. I'll go first. Um, I love the title shot for some reason, and I loved how the monsters were shot. We were very rarely at eye level with them. It wasn't, oh, Godzilla. It was really down. It wasn't, oh, Godzilla. It was, oh, crap, Godzilla. You know, there was so much more intimidation and just presence. Like, they were so big, they were towering over you as the as the viewer. It was great. Yeah, I, I know that I wish it could have been explained a little bit more, but I personally loved how Godzilla really was the hero, and I loved rooting for him, and I... I, I the, the marketing for this film is kind of weird and that kind of like made Godzilla out to be like the bad guy. He really isn't. He really isn't. Yeah. In my opinion, the visuals were just too dark. I thought it made it hard to see at times some of the action scenes and some really? of the important scenes. Uh, that was just my opinion. All right. Now we're going to move into the most exciting part of the review, the final comments and final scores. Larry, you got to go first. Well, uh, Godzilla definitely has several problems. I mean, we mentioned them in the review. But I still think it's a very fun movie-going experience. I definitely had plenty of moments where I was cheering and applauding. And again, Act 3, totally worth the price of admission. I am going to give Godzilla a 7 out of a possible 10. The parts that work in Godzilla, for me, work so well that it almost overshadows completely the underwhelming human element. Which, overall, averages out to a pretty good effort. Which is why I'm also going to award it a 7 out of 10. The majority of Godzilla is very cliche, but at least it's dull cliches rather than terrible ones. That would be the difference between this movie and Pacific Rim. Outside of the boring though, Godzilla still does have honorable intentions behind it, which I like, and I cannot deny the awesomeness that does pop up every once in a while. So I will be God giving Godzilla a 6 out of 10. You just had to break the average, didn't you, Sean? So that does it for us in our first new format video review. All right. Uh, we all, I guess, agree. So go check it out if you're interested. It's not a must-see, but you won't be disappointed. Me a little uh, meh. But uh, tune in exactly one week from today because we're going to be doing a review on the hotly anticipated X-Men Days of Future Past. I get to sit down with you two again. They'll be very exciting to talk about it. Until then, my name is Sean. I'm Larry. And I'm Max. And thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Head on over to RuleThirds.com for more.